Julian Assange is dead. You are fake news. Oh shit, sorry, I read that wrong. I meant to say, is Julian Assange dead? If you want to know more, just please stay tuned and watch the rest of the show. What do you mean it was clickbait? What are you, what are you talking about, bro? No, it wasn't cruel. Uh, why do you say that? What do you say that? I just read it wrong, really. I mean, we don't fucking know if he's alive or dead. Right? Right? Whatever, man. Whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't need advice from you on how to make YouTube videos, all right? Okay? All right? I. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of uh, my show. Welcome, welcome back. Let's see, the lighting is a little off today. I know it's all over the place, but I think we can figure, we can see if we can figure it out. But anyways, let's cut to the chase. So you guys are, you know, clicked on today's episode because you think that, you know, uh, Julian Assange is dead. I'm sorry for the clickbait and all that good stuff, but you know, the reality is, is that I got wanted to make an update on the Julian Assange situation. And um, especially after the whole thing with Jeffrey Epstein happened not too long ago, and um, you know, we have been following pretty closely the whole Julian Assange thing here on this channel, um, and, and, and I know a lot of you guys have as well, or at least come here for more information on what's going on with that. So I haven't really made an episode about Julian in a while, and um, as I was trying to just find some information out myself today, I couldn't find anything. In fact, I had to like use things like Bing. Yeah, I know, who the hell even uses that? In order to actually get some sort of uh, you know, news that wasn't censored by Google and such. So um, with that being said, um, I, I actually did a little bit of homework and um, look guys, it seems like Mr. Julian Assange is uh, not only still in prison, but he's gonna be remaining in prison for as uh, for, for the time being and um, what we're gonna be talking about today here is just I guess a little bit of conspiracy ish stuff you know remember where what a conspiracy theory is is just when one or more individuals so it's just me and Lambo so when one or more individuals out there you know conspire to I mean to get together to talk about others conspiring against another group so right now you know me and Lambo you know, talking, or me and you guys, you know, talking about Julian Assange, we are talking about other individuals out there conspiring against us. So we are forming our own conspiracy theories, meaning, you know, damn, I wonder what these entities out there are doing against us. You know, what these governments, what these banks, what these people in power are doing in order to brainwash us, the people, to mess us up you know to again lead us like sheep to slaughter so that's what we're doing here so this morning as I was just uh, doing a little bit of my reading I didn't really see much news n not any new news say that three times in a row don't but um, you know literally all I was reading was just the fact that he's still in prison you know um, he gets maybe two visits a month it's pretty it's really bad his uh, health is deteriorating um, I was reading stories of all kinds of people that have gone to go visit him and they make it really impossible for people to visit and then so on and so forth so you know many stories you know just along those lines of uh, his prison life and what's going on with him and all that good stuff but you know nothing really new about the case nothing really new um, about what's going what's happening with him and so on and so forth. In fact, the only thing new that has come out, uh, which was a couple, I want to say, I want to say two months ago now, but I, I think it's closer to like around the month. What um, the only real news that we have of him recently has been that a federal court in the United States of America has declared that everything that he has done is 100% legal. So literally already, there's already been a federal court in the United States of America, remember the same court system that is trying to extradite him to the US on espionage charges and uh, you know, a litany of other charges you know, that really, you know, he hasn't really done, remember. But as you guys know, for most of you guys out there in the US, you guys already know how it works. They charge you with some shit crime first, and then it's your job 
to prove your innocence. So, you know, again, you know, it doesn't matter if you're just Joe Schmo, you know, with a little bag of weed, or they say they found you with a bag of weed, or if you're Sally, you know, walking down the street and they arrest you because... For what? Arresting me for what? I'm not allowed to stand up for myself? I thought this was America, huh? Isn't this America? I'm sorry, I thought this was America. The point is, you already know how the things work in the US. So, you know, what's happening with Mr. Assange is nothing new, where they're just charging him with a litany of uh, charges, you know, and um, they're trying to extradite him on those uh, counts. And therefore, and then once he gets here and is in front of the judge, is in front of the, you know, the court system and all that stuff, then they get to do what they want with him. And, you know, that's pretty much how it works. And anyone that's an American citizen and has been through the system knows exactly that that's how it works and that he, and others are no exception. Um, we've talked about, you know, others like Kim.com and um, so many, many others, you know, that are literally going through the same or similar situation. You know, John McGaffey and the list goes on and on. But that's not what this episode's about. This episode is just a little update, a quick update, or as quick as I can make these episodes, on Julian Assange. So, right now, after the whole Epstein thing took place, because again, guys, if you guys, I know 95% of everybody out there already knows who Epstein is because even my girlfriend, which has absolutely no fucking idea about what the hell's going on over there in the US of A, you know, she even kind of knew about Mr. Epstein, which was pretty hilarious. I was like, really, you, you know about that guy? Anyway, so, you know, right now with the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing, if they suicided him, by the way, I mean, come on, no one fucking believes that he, su that he committed suicide. Everybody, everybody knows, everyone, that, you know, they, you know, they suicided him, as uh, Mr. Eddie Bravo likes to say. But anyways, so they suicided his ass. And sure, it took many attempts, and it was um, a bit difficult, and so on and so forth, but they did it. Um, remember, this is in New York, and then the, the New York State, uh, the New York police chief, the New York PD police chief, among others, you know, they also had a lot of rev uh, revelatory evidence, um, uh, you know, to go alongside with the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing, but even not having to do with him, but stuff that the New York police chief himself said, all right, what we're gonna do is that we're, I'm gonna publish this, and um, if I can't get anyone to help me publish it, I'm gonna take it straight to WikiLeaks. They kill him right before he retires. So, you know, obviously, they know that the pub, no matter how they're trying to push pedophilia as being normal and okay, it, still a good majority of the country and the world, but a good majority of the country is still no, they, they are still not okay, and it's never going to be okay. So, you know, what they're trying to do is brainwash the, 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 the world, or the people out there, to, making, to, to thinking that pedophilia is okay, and then once it's okay, well, you know, they can go after these individuals and then, you know, just slap them on the wrist. But since, you know, the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing happened, and uh, obviously it's not okay, and they can't be having Bill Clinton and a bunch of other famous people like Bill Gates and a bunch of others. These are just the, the two bills that come to mind here at the moment. But they can't have these guys, uh, you know, going um, in front of a court system, you know, um, on pedophilia charges. So what do they do? They, they ax, they kill this guy. Okay, and um, now think about it, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there in power that don't want that guy to die for obvious reasons. Okay, but yet they were they managed and they figure out a way to do it. I mean, you already know the Clintons. They they if, if, if they'll get you. All right, <laughs> insert Hillary joke here. Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, oh, I'm sure it did. But anyways, that's not, the, that's not you know that's not diverge here. So now going back to Julian Assange real quick. You know the same thing goes with Julian Assange. Julian Assange and the whole WikiLeaks thing, I mean, if you really want to look at it, I mean, he has has done more damage to a lot of these individuals and the system itself than and Jeffrey Epstein probably could have. And still, had he, he himself, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Julian Assange, has even more potential to really blow the top off a lot of these things, okay? And yet, he's alive. They're, they've got him in prison. Look, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if Mr. Epstein got suicided, I don't see why Mr. Julian Assange has not been suicided yet, okay? Literally, I mean, even if uh, they can literally suicide, kill him tomorrow, Julian Assange, and, and again, besides the people that really care about this, 
you know, again, even me and Lambo and you guys, you know, that care about Mr. Julian Assange, all we can do is like, oh, there's another one. Oh, well, what are we going to do about this? That, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, we know that. So, again, there's no reason for them not to kill him. And especially, you know, again, since nine, most of the population of Earth is not going to really do anything about it because, we, again, you know, I don't want, I'm not going down that rabbit hole as to why we don't do anything about it, but that's just the reality of it. And that's what I, and then so what, what is, what's making me think, you know, what's me, uh, sorry. So now as I'm reassessing this whole situation, I'm really starting to think that I, I, they're protecting Julian Assange. They're, they're trying to keep him alive. And the same thing with the Jeffrey Epstein thing. I really do think that at, 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 at a, good, a good majority of the people that had him in prison were trying to make sure he stayed alive so that he can you know, come forward and um, make sure that he testifies. And uh, a lot of these individuals out there that have caused a lot of harm to a lot of people um, by a lot of people, I mean you and me and everyone out there. You know, they are held accountable. But now since Jeffrey Epstein is dead, well, they can't be held accountable. So it's the same thing with, with uh, Julian Assange. If all of a sudden they get rid of Julian Assange, well, none of these individuals out there would be held accountable. But if they keep him alive, the longer he stays alive, well, the greater the chance that a lot of these people out there will be held accountable. Now think about this, guys. You know, let's just go now through the whole legal mumbo jumbo thing. You know, if they actually do extradite him here to the U.S. and they put him in front of the federal court, you know, what's going to happen is that he's going to have to spill the beans. He literally, he's going to have to fucking tell the truth about every single fucking thing. And then once he does, they will most likely determine that he has not done anything illegal, but by him. Standing in front of the court of, uh, in front of the U.S. court, in front of the court of the world, in front of the, the court of uh, human, you know, of uh, humankind, and spilling the beans about what the hell's happening around the world, and really spilling the beans, you know, like literally on TV and you know, uh, you know, prime time, everyone's seeing this stuff. It's not just these WikiLeaks anymore. It's very, very different. And, and then all of a sudden, once he's doing this, all eyes on this, all eyes on Julian Assange, all eyes on the truth. <clears throat> then after the whole court thing is done they will determine that you know he has not done anything illegal they will release him and then once that whole thing that whole charade is done guess what a bunch of other criminal cases will start getting opened against the Clintons against the Bill Gates against like literally every single entity out there in which he has already implement, implicated so whether it's the DNC whether it's it doesn't matter it doesn't matter everything that's ever been mentioned in WikiLeaks in a negative way is all of a sudden now you know they're gonna go after them because remember the, what, how this works is that they're bringing Julian Assange over to the US to stand in front of the court to determine Okay, whether what he did was illegal or not. Remember, it's kind of like what was going on with Mr. Trump and the Russian collusion and all this bullshit. Russia, 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 Putin, Russia's, Russia, 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 Russian, 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 Russia, Russia, Moscow, Moscow, Russia, Russian, pro Russian, Russian, Russia, Russian, 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 the Russians, Russian, 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 Russian. After about two years or whatever, however long it took, you know, with the whole Russian collusion thing, they all literally came to the conclusion, okay, he did absolutely nothing illegal. So it's the same fucking thing with this now. You know, they're gonna bring him over, run him through the ringer even more. Again, with everything Julian Assange has gone through, by the time they bring him over here, he's gonna be fine, literally, okay? If he survives all this and they keep him alive, he's gonna be fine. Really, I, I, I do think so. Why would, I mean, you know, just looking at it from the perspective of uh, wanting from, for him to spill the truth, you got to make him make sure he's as comfortable as possible while at the same time, you know, every time that you hear any kind of news story, again, just like what I was reading earlier today, oh, he's in horrible situation, oh, he's feeling like crap, oh, he's uh, barely alive, oh, whatever. But as we've seen in other Julian Assange videos that I've published or abruptly, you know, um, RT has published, he's fine. He, he looks pretty fine. He looks healthy. He looks good. I mean, you know, he's not perfect, but he's not dying. That's for sure. So, again... They're going to bring him over here. This is my assessment as to what's going to happen. They're going to bring him over here. They're going to put him in front of trial, you know, put him in front of the court system. And um, literally, they're going to just, uh, they're trying to determine whether what he did was illegal or not. Once that whole thing is over and they determined that everything he did was legal and he didn't do anything wrong, well then, 
you know, once that's done, well, remember the court, the court case is closed. He goes free, but because of that court case, everything that was mentioned within that court case is now going to come to light as truth. Because again, if that if, if the court um, declares him innocent and declares all that information divulged within the court case as truth, well, then that means as soon as that court case is court court click that can't even speak. As soon as that court case is closed, well, then guess what? The court system and the judicial system of not just the U.S. but the world, but basically the U.S. that you know that's the only one that matters right now, right? will have all the evidence to literally not only indict, but you know, um, put in jail a lot of these people that have been you know, impl implicated within the WikiLeaks. And, and once you know, uh, Mr. Julian Assange is really you know, put on trial and they really start dissecting a lot of all these WikiLeaks, man, it's, the shit's really gonna hit the fan. And it's gonna be really, really interesting to see how all this plays out. But again, guys, you know, the only thing I see here are two scenarios. Either A, they killed Julian Assange and they fucking put an end to this, just like they did with Jeffrey Epstein, or B, they keep him alive as, as, as much as humanly possible until they can bring him out here, until they can extradite him and put him, go through that, um, that whole process that I just mentioned right now. So again, right now, they can't just go after you know any of these individuals implicated in any of these WikiLeaks because according to the system, the court system, you know, that's not sufficient, su sufficient evidence. It's not real evidence. It's like whatever the fuck they determined it to be. But once they actually go through a, a, an actual court case and they do determine that all of these WikiLeaks and beyond are actual submissible, you know, evidence in, in a court case and, and, and being able to go after people and, uh, and so on and so forth, then that's it, you know what I mean? Once Julian Assange goes through this whole thing and they, you know, declare him innocent, even if they declare him guilty, still, uh, all these WikiLeaks <coughs> will be, you know, part of the public record. They will now stand on, you know, the, the whole judicial system, you know, as truth. And then, really, the whole snowball effect, you know, starts uh, really taking place. And, um... You know, guys, I'm telling you right now, like, I honestly, like, the, after the whole Epstein thing happened, you know, first of all, like a, good, like, a good majority of us out here, you know, we weren't surprised by that. But then the next thing that came to mind is, well, you know, wh why haven't they done the same with, uh, with Julian Assange? Now, I know why they haven't done the same with McGaffey and Kim.com and so many others out there, but Julian Assange, you know, there's absolutely no reason why they shouldn't have killed him by now or made him disappear or whatever especially after they dragged him out of the embassy i mean that's it you know what i mean all our cards are off the table or whatever the fuck the saying is but literally right now there's absolutely nothing stopping them from e eliminating him but they're not okay so and remember we gotta this none of this stuff is ever being talked on on the news and then the the little bit of news that is actually being released out here is just you know just talking about his conditions how horrible they are and everyone acknowledges that except for julian himself and um again guys you know we got to start putting two and two together here and start really figuring this out. And again, you know, you guys already know that in most of my, in, in all my videos, I'm not on either side. I'm not on, on the Democrat side. I'm not on the Republican side. I'm on no side. I'm on the anarchist side or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm, uh, I'm agnostic. I'm whatever the fuck, you know, I, I'm all about, you know, freedom and liberty and, um, and really, you know, again, I'm all about the whole libertarian lifestyle and that kind of government and the whole anarchism and that kind of government and stuff like that. And again, guys, all anarchism is, or anar all, all being an art anarchist means is one who chooses to be without a ruler. That's it. So meaning, you know, me being an anarchist, I'm not imposing anything on you and I'm not going to have anyone impose anything on me. And uh, libertarian is, is kind of like a little bit of a similar um, type of scenario. But at the end of the day, it's all about self-sufficiency and not having some other entity out there, you know, give us everything. You know, we, you know, create and provide everything for ourselves. All right. But I'm going off off the topic here. I'm going off on a tangent. Um, I think, oh yeah, video's already long enough. I was wanting to see how long I uh, have on this video. But anyways, guys, I hope that today's video helps open up your minds and uh, helps maybe, you know, help 
understand the situation a little more. Maybe we can come up with some uh, real theories as to what the hell is going on and what could be the possibilities of uh, this guy's imprisonment, this guy being dragged out of uh, the embassy, and what really, you know, is going on. What really is going on? Because, again, you know, just to come full circle, it's not to the benefit of those that dragged him out of the embassy and arrested him to have him alive and talking. And remember, if they were able to kill Epstein, they sure as hell can kill fucking Julian Assange even easier. Or just as easy. But why aren't they doing it? Exactly. So, that's what we need to really be talking about more than anything else. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really, really, really appreciate you guys always being here. You know, all of my, all, you know, all of my subscribers... Thank you so much for always being here with me and watching all the videos and, and interacting and having conversations. To all of my new subscribers out there, welcome. Thank you so much for joining this, uh, you know, circus, <laughs> whatever the hell this is. And um, I, I can't do any of this stuff without you guys, okay? Not only do I wake up every morning to do this for you guys and I want to do this for you guys and you guys literally encourage me constantly to always keep going and going and going, but... Again, you know, when you guys help out, you know, whether it's through the comment section, whether it's sending a few bucks here and there, whether it's buying a t-shirt, whether it's hitting a thumbs up, leaving a comment, sharing the video, you guys are all instrumental in the thing that we're trying to do here, which is just spread knowledge. And I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all of you guys. And uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to end it here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And more importantly than anything else... Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys manana. Peace. And let's uh let's say a prayer for Mr. Julian Assange, right? Let's hope uh the motherfucker is is uh stays alive for a few more years and everything that I was just saying actually does play out because if it does, boy, are we gonna be in for some fun times watching all this shit actually play out. Alright guys, thanks again and I'll see you guys manana. Peace.